Hello and welcome to another video of this Power, Power BI Do It Yourself tutorials. In this video, we are going to talk about display tooltip visuals. Now, very interestingly, uh, Power, BI's, Power BI allows you to create a tooltip which is very customized. And you see that this is not a normal tooltip, it's like another visualization coming in as a tooltip feature. And this is what we are going to do. Uh, this is our uh, generic tooltip which is default and then I'm going to show you in this video how you create a tooltip to this one. All right. So let's write down the steps here. So create a new page in the Power BI dashboard using Soother template. So uh, I'm going to click on the new page. I'm going to name it as tooltip. And then uh, there are a few settings which I'm going to do. You can download the template files from the location. This is a Google Drive location. So I'm going to add tooltip. And then in the properties section of the page, in the page size, I'm going to change the type as tooltip. And then just to make it very consistent, I'm going to add a background color, this, and I'm going to make it more transparent so that it kind of, you know, gels in with our theme. You can apply theme, themes or backgrounds or wallpapers here as well. Or you can use the template by just going to any of the sheets and say copy. It depends, whatever you want to do. So add a couple of visualizations. Uh, say sales by customer or sales by product name. We have sales, sales, and then I'm going to say sales by product name <clears throat> or we can, we can make it as a pie chart as well and just decrease the size, make it look good. And then uh, you can add one more let's say sales by customer type now let's change the colors and make sure that everything is looking good you know I, I'm not gonna just uh, quickly I'm gonna pick any colors here So pick any colors, just make sure it matches to your theme. Uh, change the title, you know, just small things. So you say, my customer type. And say here by product. You know, uh, it is just to make sure that this looks pretty good. All right, so this is done and then you can go to view in the page view say actual size so this is going to be the size now you have to enable the tooltip so this page to be used as tooltip you can change it you can say fit to page that's fine so go here in the page information select tooltip so in the page properties enable the tooltip option so here, this is the page information, enable, put it on. <clears throat> and then in the tooltip properties, drag and drop the sales column. So here in the properties, you have tooltip. Only this is available when you are enabling the tooltip. Now here, I'm going to drag the column sales so that any page which is going to use the sales you would see the tooltip there you go so you go to my dashboard and any column which has sales you would see the tooltip any column doesn't matter you don't have to specify which all columns any column you click on this you would see the tooltip now suppose that you do not want to show the tooltip on this particular chart so i can go here go to general uh, 
or maybe go to tooltip here I'm sorry and then go to tooltip and say off so just for this chart it is not going to display any tooltip but here on the other charts it will continue to display the tooltip if you want to enable again just click on this chart properties tooltip on and then the the thing would be available now just note that if in your Power BI you have not enabled the tooltip properties then you need to do that by going to file uh, options and settings click on options and then in the preview features make sure that report page tooltips are is checked if you do not have report page tooltips then this is not gonna work all right now times for time for some hands-on exercises so go back to the main dashboard wherever you see sales column the visualizations will be available now this is a good time to pause your video and uh, just think about what we did and then look for hands-on exercise number 28 so download the template files from the location and use any one of the template files then create a tooltips options for F shipment you have been using F shipment in the as in the previous set of videos and make sure that you are look, able to create a good looking tooltips and ask a question functionality using this these two functionalities ask a question functionality was done in the previous video in the video number 24 we're going to talk about uh, you know we talked about tooltips so see if you can do it together Thank you for watching.